Hi everybody, in this video I am burning off some designs that were wrong. This one I just pulled out. Um, this obviously you can see I put it upside down. So that one is a water bottle and this one is a tumbler. I'm going to pop this one in again. I only put it in for 30 minutes. I have another one in there right now. I'm putting it in my air fryer. This is I think a 7 quart air fryer so I have it at 400. These ones I did at about 30 minutes each. Like I said I'm going to try to pop this one in and see if I can get it a little bit lighter. But I have dark designs printed out to go out on both of those and I'll show you what they look like. Okay, so the baked off water bottle is um, cool enough to touch and everything. So I just got done alcoholing it really well. Um, this is the first time I've baked them, so we'll see how it comes out with the reprints and stuff. So this is the file that I pulled, so it should be super, super dark. I just got done alcoholing this really well. I am going to wrap this like I do my water bottles all the time. There's a video in there on that. So I'm going to wrap this really quick like I normally do, put shrink wrap over it and everything, just like exactly how I do it in my water bottle tutorial. And I'm going to go ahead and get this in my mug press and we're going to see how it works out. So what I noticed taping this, and I don't know if you can tell, but this actually has like a yellowish tone to it now. Same with the bottom, so it's not super, super white like the stuff is... Anyway, so this one it was a regular sublimated one, and you can see that my bottom, sorry, I keep bumpers on mine, but you can see that the bottom is really, really white. The design that I'm using um, is fine because it's a dark green blackish design, so I'm not concerned about the yellowish tint, but I definitely, um, I, I wouldn't sell them as a straight up brand new tumbler because it's definitely not as noticeable. Um, I have this all taped. I am going to go ahead and shrink wrap that and I'm going to go ahead and put it in the mug press. Okay, I put the shrink wrap on it. Um, I wrapped it with plain cheapy copy paper um, and heat tape so, so the shrink wrap doesn't melt on my mug press. I marked my halfway point just like I always do for my mugs and my tumblers so I'm not hitting the exact same spot and we're going to go ahead and put these in. I have my mug press set at 390 for 60 seconds, so we're going to press this in four positions, um, 60 seconds each, so you'll see me flipping this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and um, get this done, and I'll show you what it looks like. So after the, the water bottle is done, this is another one that I burned off. This was actually black, um, so this is what it looks like once it's burned off. This is the design that I'm going to put over this. It's actually purple and black, so we're going to try this after I'm done with the water bottle. Okay, so we did all of our presses. Um, I'm going to go ahead and unwrap it, and we're going to see what this looks like. All right, so I've got the shrink sleeve off. The shrink sleeve that I'm using um, are not the ones that I normally get from Condi. I just picked up some cheaper ones from Amazon because I needed them right away. They um, stick, so they're kind of a pain in the butt to get off, but in a pinch, they work, but I do prefer the ones from Condi um, that I have linked in one of my other videos. So I'm going to finish taking the tape off and we will show you what it looks like. Okay, so here is the finished product. This definitely worked. Um, so it did burn off the design and I was able to go right over it. Over here, um, is where the coach's name was that was in red and I mean he's got red in his uniform but I wanted it to where the black um, design was I'm gonna grab the top so you can see what this looks like okay so this is what it looks like with the top it's a water bottle um, this is a hog outfitter bottle um, but you'll see my design is centered here to where my spout comes up but the colors are actually pretty good. I'm going to take this outside because the coloring outside is significantly better. So I'll show you what this looks like. Okay, so now we're outside. So hopefully you can see the colors better. The colors in this are really good. Um, you can see that's what it looks like. It was all done, like I said, in my mud press. And this was a um, burn off. And then I went over it on the design. You can see I dropped the tumbler. I don't know if you can tell there, but... 
I dropped it when I picked it up out of my air fryer so you can see it actually chipped so I would be really careful when it's hot to make sure that it doesn't mess with the um, finish on this but you can see my fingerprints are all over there but this is the burn off I will show what it looks like to go over a regular tumbler too Alright, so I'm going to do the tumbler really quick. I'm going to wrap this like I always do, just like I did the water bottle. Um, this is the design, so I'm hoping that it's dark enough, and we're going to go from there. Okay, so I have all the tape and everything off. We're going to see how this one covered. So this is what it looks like. It looks like it covered everything pretty well. I'm going to take it outside so we can see it in better light. Okay. So that's what it looks like out in the sun. So this was a pinkish purple background and this was a burn off on a tumbler that was black. So you can see what it looks like now. That's what it looks like. There's the bottom. So you can see they still have like a yellow tint to them. Um, I put bumpers on all the, the bottom of mine, so I don't have to worry about that. I don't use the rubber bumper, the rubber stoppers. I use a, a whole rubber bumper. So, but that's what it looks like. So it covered pretty well, and at least I'm not wasting the tumbler. So that's a plus. So it does work. I will put all the information for um, my times and my temp. And like I said, I did these all in a 7-quart air fryer. Um... I think it's La Gourmet or something. I don't know. I picked it up at Ollie's or something. So that's what it looks like. That seems to work. And right now I am charging a blue glow-in-the-dark tumbler, if you can see it over there, because that will be in another upcoming video. So I hope this helps. Like I said, this was about um, probably between 30 and 40 minutes. I kept putting it in um, just to try to get the black um, image off more but it was a black all over arabesque design with wording and stuff on it so I took that off I will put the link for the designer also for the drive that I bought this on and for the uh, Fortnite water bottle that I redid too so don't waste your tumblers redo them thanks guys